Hi, my name is Deborah Fernandez and I'm the lead compounding pharmacist for People's Pharmacy and our People's Compounding Center here in Austin, Texas. Today, I wanna to talk to you about Methylene Blue. Methylene Blue is a dye that was synthesized back in 1876 and it's one of the oldest medications that's still in use today. It's used as an antibiotic for urinary tract infections, and it's also used in emergency rooms to treat something called methemoglobinemia, where methylene blue acts to increase the oxygen carrying capacity of our blood. But I don't wanna to talk to you about that today. I wanna to talk to you about why methylene blue may be blowing up your social media. It may be blowing up your social media for its use as a nootropic or a cognitive enhancer for improving memory and focus, attention, mood, and motivation. This is considered low dose methylene blue. Methylene blue increases your energy production within your cells and it decreases oxidative stress within your cells. It works on the mitochondria, which you can think of as the power grid for your cells. And so if your power grid gets overloaded or weak, then you can start to have some system failures or some blackouts. And what that would look like for you is decreased function in brain health, decreased immune health, and decreased metabolic health. So specifically, methylene blue works on an enzyme in the mitochondria called cytochrome oxidase, where it can donate an electron to improve the production of ATP. Now this enzyme activity decreases as we age. The other mechanism is that it works to decrease the damage done by free radicals within your cells. So it's really the combination of both of these things that increase the oxygenation within our cells to decrease those negative effects of aging and diseases that affect our mitochondria. How are they studying methylene blue? Well, they're studying it for cognitive enhancement and they're looking at how methylene blue can increase the brain's absorption of glucose and oxygen. They're also looking at methylene blue as a neuroprotective agent to protect those mitochondria against that dysfunction we talked about. So what are some considerations with methylene blue? Well, you shouldn't take methylene blue if you're on an SSRI like sertraline or fluoxetine, an SNRI, something like duloxetine, or an old school MAO inhibitor, anything that increases your levels of serotonin. It does have an interaction with Dapsone. We don't give it to patients with renal insufficiency or patients that are pregnant or nursing. Well, we generally start at five to 10 milligrams daily and titrate up to between 10 and 30 milligrams. But remember, the dose is highly individualized. At these doses, I wouldn't expect you to have much, but remember, it is a stain. It can stain your tissue, your skin, and even your clothing. Your urine will be blue or bluish green. Rare side effects include things like headache, dizziness, stomach upset, altered taste, and increased sweating. But again, these are rare side effects. So what other considerations should you think about if you want to try methylene blue? you have to work with a reputable pharmacy like Peoples to ensure that you are getting a pharmaceutical grade or USP grade methylene blue. Methylene blue is also available as an industrial dye, which can contain 11% of heavy metal impurities, things like mercury and lead. And the last thing you wanna do is ingest those. At People's Rx, we have over-the-counter versions of methylene blue that are in different formulations, things for metabolism, for brain fog, for memory boosting. So you can come into our stores and speak with one of our wellness team members and they can figure out the best option for you. We also compound here at our compounding facility by a prescription methylene blue in a capsule form. We compound strengths from five to 50 milligrams as well as oral solutions. 
this may be a better approach if you need to have something more tailored, um, an individual dosing form, and especially if you have multiple sensitivities, I would consider this compounding approach for your methylene blue. If you have any further questions, please feel free to come into our stores or reach out at compounding at peoplesrx.com. Thank you.